Hi, it's Andy here from Eurospark. Today I'm going to be taking you through setting up a job on one of our AZ series manual spark erosion machines. So, first thing I'm going to do is going to get a bit of scrap steel, get it fitted and get it clocked up, ready for us to spark. Okay, I'm going to get it roughly there with my engineer squirt. Put my magnet on. Set my GTI up. So the electrode we're going to use today is our Eurospark logo. It's fitted to a pallet system, so it makes it really easy to fit. These are clocked up on your uh, machining centre, so that you know when you fit it, everything's all square. Right, the next step is going to be zero in our job. So I'm going to bring the head down. And for this option, I'm going to uh, use the half function. I'm going to put the machine to edge fine. So as I bring it across, after zeroing at one edge and going to the other, I'm going to use the X half function, and that allows us to go to zero right in the middle of the job. I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the Y. So once again, I'm going to use the half function on the Y. Now, when I bring to zero, we should be right in the middle of the workpiece. To zero and Z, we're going to use the edge find F ball function. That will drive the head down until it touches the workpiece and then it will start. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to set up our machining parameters. So, for a single step job, it's as easy as pressing EDM set, scrolling down, and then selecting. So for this job, we're going to go to 0.25 minus. Enter, puts the program in, and then we'll go back to our DRO. Unfortunately, on this camera, it looks like these are flashing, but I hope you can still see what I'm doing. We're going to be using the fuzzy logic uh, on this single step program. Uh, with these four inputs, it will spell out all of our machining parameters, which will be a really good starting point for uh, getting a good finish on our job. So I'm going to set copper steel. Our electro size is around 80 mil. I want low electrode wear today, and then I'm going to use 13 amps. By doing that, it's given me all of my machining parameters, and at any point during cutting, I can turn the fuzzy off and make adjustments. If I find that that's perfect for this specific job, I can store the condition and save it under a job number, or if I've made a mistake and I want to go back, I can just turn the fuzzy back on and it will revert my conditions. Set up my flushing nozzle, I'm going to turn it on just enough to be able to clear away some of the debris without affecting my sparking conditions. We also have the option for suction and through flushing if your electrode is designed for it. We're ready to fill up the tank, so we're going to close the gate and then turn the pump on. Using this weir, we set the height of the dielectric fluid. We want it just above the job. As soon as the fluid is going over the drain, we can uh, turn our spark on. Once we're running, we want to check that we've got stable gap bolts, we're achieving the peak current that we set, and that we're getting 100% stability. If we're either not achieving this stability or it drops off during cutting, that's when we really want to be looking to make sure that our flushing is good, and then making some minor adjustments to our machine parameters. Finally, we're going to open up the drain and inspect our job. Right, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get this cut down to size on our wire machine, polish it up, ready for our display cabinet. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us.